Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally getting settled in. I am back. I'm super duper excited and happy and just thrilled to start filming again. So what better way to get back to filming than with a perfume tray? So I'm going to be filling up this tray that I picked up from Amazon because the rest of my collection is not here yet. So I only have what I packed with me in my luggage and I do have a perfume haul coming up. Actually, I have a lot of new perfumes that I purchased these past few days. I just got so excited that shipping is just so easy now and it's so much easier for me to get my hands on fragrances and new releases and just, it's just hassle free. So I am super excited about that. So stay tuned because I do have a lot of content coming up, but we are going to start off with the perfume tray. And this is going to be the first perfume tray where it's actually going to cover two months. So it's going to be my July slash August perfume tray because this is just what I'm working with at the moment. So I won't be able to switch it out for August, but that's totally fine. I did bring some summer fragrances and you're going to be able to see what I actually packed with me for my move and the rest of my fragrances are or hopefully should be here soon within a month I would say if you are new here and you love girl talk beauty fragrance self-care body care you are at the right spot go ahead and subscribe I would love to see you back for my future uploads and with that said let's get right into filling up the tray <laughs> So I have been getting my beauty room together. I did a lot of painting. I put up some bookshelves. I'm going to be showing you guys all of that in my vlogs. So if you haven't seen my latest vlog, go ahead and check it out. I update you guys on my move and showing you guys a little bit more personal side to me. My girls come out in the vlog. I'm showing you guys kind of like how we're getting settled into the new home. And I have been bringing you guys along with the whole process of the beauty room and all of that. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and start talking about fragrances so these fragrances that I'm going to put on the tray I had them I took two suitcases with me because I had so much makeup and fragrance that I wanted to have here like I didn't want to wait for the move so I did have two suitcases so I just wrap them up in between clothing I put some in like a makeup bag a really big makeup bag I put them inside Ziploc bags and none of them spilled none of them broke everything made it safely and I did take two flights so the luggage was thrown around like crazy and thankfully everything came in perfect condition so Let's start off with the first fragrance that I brought with me. I'm going to be adding Clean Reserve Skin to my tray. I wanted to bring this one because this is just an easy reach. It's kind of like a musky skin scent, but to me this one leans more a little bit on the warm side and it has like this praline, leathery type of touch to it. So that is going to be the first one on the tray. Next up, we have Killian's Rolling in Love. I tried to pack fragrances that were on the pricey side. Some of these are limited edition. Edition, just ones that I wanted to make sure that they stayed with me. There was like no real thought process though. Like there are some random fragrances that I just threw in here just to get me by for like the rest of summer. But these will also make a nice transition, I think into fall as well. So this one's just a very soft, romantic, fluffy, almondy feeling type of fragrance. It's really, really nice, a little powdery. I love this one for like a date night, for bedtime, for the evening, for a cozy day in the house. It's just a very relaxing, fluffy fragrance. It's so beautiful. It's very delicate and sophisticated as well. I brought along another Killian fragrance and this is Love Don't Be Shy. This was gifted to me last year by Sephora and I haven't really been able to wear it a lot because I just don't really like this one too much in extreme heat. And I will say, I am blown away by how different a lot of these fragrances are smelling already. Here in Kentucky, I guess the hottest it has gotten has been 90 degrees and that was the other day. It's usually in the 80s and in the morning it's in the 60s. And I sat down one morning and I started 
started just smelling the bottles and so many of them smell so different. I could smell different notes. I could pick up just on different things and I can truly tell you guys that the weather has a lot to do with what you smell in a fragrance. How it wears, how long it lasts. I feel like I was in Puerto Rico and that was making fragrances very hard and difficult to wear and even the ones that I loved over there, I'm loving I would say two times more now. So I cannot wait to get to know this one better and wear it and actually enjoy it more than I have in the past. This one is like a sweet candy. Also has a little bit of like a powdery touch to it, but there's also orange blossom in there, which makes it thicker, sweet. It's like a flirty scent, I would say, but also something that I would wear for like a date night to go out to eat, that type of vibe where I'm gonna be a little bit more like put together, pretty. I would reach for this one. Next fragrance is Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. Of course, I had to bring this with me. This is like an easy reach for me. I did bring a lot of fragrances that were easy reaches for me, but this one is just one of those that I can pick up any day, any time, and I know it's going to smell good. It has been smelling a little different here, but I still love it. I have not given it a full wear though, so I need to wear this one and see how I feel about it, but... In my July favorites, I'm going to get into the fragrances that are my favorite for this month and how I'm loving them here and how the experience has been totally different. So I'm very, very excited to share that with you guys. Next up, we have Dolce and Gabbana light blue summer vibes. I was iffy about this one for a while when I first got it. I didn't think that it was all that. And let me tell you guys, this is amazing. I'm so happy that I got this. I'm so happy that I let it sit for a few, I would say like a month or two. It is so beautiful and I cannot stop wearing it. And I hope that I can get myself another bottle if I do run out of this one quickly because it's probably one of my favorite light blue flankers so far it is clean without smelling like cleaner vibes or too like citrusy it's juicy it's woody it's just so good it's fresh and clean without it being like laundry clean i'm obsessed with this one Next up, we have my Burberry blush. This is going to be on the tray, so I'm going to definitely be trying this one out more, talking to you guys about this one coming up. I'm not going to describe them too long because then the video will be way too long. I kind of noticed that I can literally just ramble, especially because I want, like I haven't filmed in forever, so I'm just dying to talk to you guys. But yeah, my Burberry blush, girly, flirty, long lasting, great performer, really, really pretty, crisp and put together. Next up, I of course brought my baby Gucci Guilty EDT. This is the older formulation that I think has been discontinued. I have not tried the new EDT version to be able to say if they are similar or not. But once I run out of this one, I'm planning on getting the other one just to see how I feel about it. But I wish they would have never gotten rid of this because this goes back for me so many years i would say like 2014 was when i started wearing this one and it's just one that has a lot of memories and really nice moments wrapped in a bottle for me next up i brought the seven virtues coconut sun i want to use this one up some more you guys know how much i love this one and i've talked about this one in previous videos so many times so if you want to hear more about this one check out previous videos where i've gone way into more detail about it but this is just a beautiful coconut refreshing just juicy fragrance for summertime fresh inviting perfect to wear like if you're going to the beach or if you're going to be doing any summer activities definitely recommend this one so i want to wear this one some more just to finish off summertime here before i pull out all of the fall vibes so cannot wait to wear this one some more dolce and gabbana dolce lily i have talked about this one so so much so i'm not going to go into detail either but of course flirty citrusy fruity girly super fun for spring and summer Next up, we have Valentino Donna Aqua, I believe it's the name, and this is a favorite of mine. Sadly, it's been discontinued, so that's why I brought it with me. I didn't want, I don't know, I just didn't want the thought of like something happening or it getting messed up or something in the move, so I packed this with me. This is a beautiful, juicy almond. I believe there's pear in here as well. It's gorgeous. I love this fragrance. The big bottles of this are so expensive right now on eBay and Mercari, but 
I would love to have a backup of this bottle. It's just such a beautiful fragrance. Next up, we have Addict Eat the Peach. You guys know how much I love this fragrance. It's peachy, fruity, easy to wear, just very refreshing, perfect for hot weather and summertime. If you love peach, this is a must have in your collection. I love it so, so much. Replicas Beach Walk, of course. I wanted to have some summer vibes with me, so I will be using this bottle some more. I will say I'm loving this one so much more here than in Puerto Rico, which is crazy, but I'm able to pick up on like this, more of like that muskiness, and it's just so sexy here, so I feel like I'm gonna definitely wear it way more here than I was over there. So beachy, sun on the skin type of fragrance, just perfect for summertime as well. Maison Francis. This is Kirk Dijon and this is Gentle Fluidity Gold. Of course, I had to bring this with me as well. This will be a great transition from summer to fall time. Beautiful fragrance. I feel like this could be worn year round, but I feel like it shines more in fall and winter for me. So I'm very, very excited to start wearing this fragrance again. That fragrance right there, it's like a perfect vanilla. It's warm. It's still airy though. It's not too thick. It's dainty. It just smells expensive. Expensive. It smells sophisticated, classy. It's just something that you can pretty much wear anywhere and you're just going to smell so, so good. Another one that I had to bring with me and you guys know how in love I have been with this for the past, I would say like two months, is the Lina La Rose. Of course, this was going to be with me. I'm going to be wearing this one for the rest of summertime and I'll probably put it away for fall time, but for spring and summer, I feel like this is perfection. It's just flirty, juicy, floral, but it's not sharp. A little bit of fruits and dewiness in there, aquatic. It's just perfection. So I love this one. This tray is a little bit uh, tight, but I just got it in the meantime. So if I find a better one, I'll definitely get one. Like I think like a rectangular one on the shelf would be really, really nice. The but next one, I have been obsessed with this even more than I was in the past. I did not think that this could get any better and it did. I wore it to bed the other night and I couldn't stop smelling myself like throughout the night I would wake up and I was just like I smell so good and it lasted longer too. I don't understand I guess maybe because the heat was eating it up in Puerto Rico but here Coconut Fizz by Guerlain Aqua Allegoria. I'm gonna run through this bottle and I'm going to be so sad about it because this continued as well, but oh my God, I could just pick up so much more notes in it. Beautiful, I just cannot wait to wear it again. I have been wearing it, even around the house, I've been wearing fragrances. I've just been so excited to play with fragrances and get to know them better here. Next up, we have Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. This is another one that is great to transition into fall time. Very similar to Killian's Rolling in Love. I think if I had to choose, I think I might go with Scarlet Poppy between the two, just because this one gives me just, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. There is, it's perfectly blended. This fragrance is smooth. It's like this, it's even, I wouldn't say smoky, but it just gives me like this. I don't remember if there's tonka in here, but there's just something that's smooth, a kind of smoky and musky at the same time, wrapped in with some fluffiness. So this one is a beauty, definitely a must have for me. Valentino Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. Beautiful for summertime. I brought it with me just because I did want to wear this for the rest of this summer. So this is one that I'm definitely going to be wearing. Fruity, I believe there's kiwi in here, similar to Dolce & Gabbana L'Imperatriz, but a little more musky and I really, really enjoy this one. I have a travel size of Juliet Has a Gun. Mm, I just wanted to bring this with me. I threw it in my bag, in my suitcase. And this is one that smells similar to Hypnotic Poison if you've ever smelled that. It's like an almondy, powdery, comforting, cozy type of scent. And this is perfect for upcoming fall as well. Next up, I packed Chance Eau Tendre. Of course, this is just such an easy reach, very girly, perfect for shopping, perfect for just when you wanna feel girly and flirty and just floral, but it's perfect. It's not sharp. You guys know I do not like sharp florals. So this one works for me. It's just really youthful and just very pretty. 
but I really like this one. So the last one I'm gonna put on the tray, I have three more fragrances, but I'm gonna have to put them like next to the tray because they don't fit. But the last one I'm gonna put on the tray is one that some of you guys requested updates on. I just couldn't get to wearing it because of the move and the craziness, but I am going to be testing it out in the up next upcoming weeks. And this is Ellie Saab's latest addition to the Girl of Now line, and this is lovely. So I am going to be wearing this one more seeing how it performs on me, how it wears, and how I feel about it. The times that I spray it on my hand, like the few times that I sniffed it, some days I really loved it and other days I wasn't sure about it. So I definitely need to wear this one more to be able to give a full opinion on this one. But it does have like a more green, fresh side to Girl of Now. All right, so we're going to move a little bit to the side here. And I'm going to be adding all the juice and this is good energy. My husband went crazy crazy over this one the other day. He said I smelled super duper good. This has mango, I believe, and it's just very fruity, very easy to reach for. You can wear this literally anywhere to bed, to run errands, to do groceries on an everyday type of vibe. It is just very, very easy to wear. So perfect for summertime, fun, bright, juicy, citrusy, fruity, really, really nice. Next up, the Pet Rock traveled with me you guys ariana grande's mod blush i just i hate the bottle but the fragrance is just so beautiful and i feel like i might even i might like it even more here because i love the opening so much and i noticed that a lot of fragrances here the notes kind of linger more in puerto rico i feel like they would just evaporate <laughs> like they wouldn't really last on me. I'm not sure what the science behind it is, but I cannot wait to wear this one. The opening of this one is perfection. So if the opening lasts longer here, I'm definitely going to be just obsessed with this one. So that is Mod Blush. And last but not least, we have Ralph Lauren Romance, and this is Summer Blossom. I wore this once already, and I will say I wasn't the biggest fan of the way that it felt when I first put it on. It did feel a little too clean for me. I think there's like this white musk in the base, or musk, something. It's making it smell super like clean, clean, and you guys know that's not my favorite type of vibe. So the guava's in there. It's definitely in there. I hope the lighting didn't change too much. The lighting that I was using died. So let's finish up. So yeah, I was talking about the summer blossom. So after I would say like about 20 minutes, it did start smelling better, but I didn't feel like it lasted on me either. So I'm not too sure about this one. I need to wear it a little bit more, but I have a feeling this one might be one that gets decluttered because I'm not crazy over it at the moment. So I'm gonna wear it some more for this month a few times. And All right guys, so there is the perfumes that I traveled with. These are the perfumes I'm going to be wearing for the next month and a half. Hopefully I will get the rest of my fragrance collection soon. I'm definitely gonna be sharing with you guys when I receive those and that's going to be it for for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and thank you so so much for your patience and for the support. I appreciate it so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Ooh, la, 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 la.